Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little ladybug earrings out of delicate beads. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you will be able to make them even if you are not familiar with the stitch that I'm using which is brick stitch. You could definitely do them with the peyote stitch but now I'm showing them with brick stitch and if you're not familiar with all those stitches you will still be able to make them. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. If you don't want to listen every time to this intro, you could definitely skip it. I have timestamps now. And down there, you will also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are these two colors of 11-0 Delica beads. Here I'm using earring findings. This is a pattern that you will see all the time during the tutorial and also here at this corner. This is Nylon nylon thread which is size D or 0.2 millimeters. These are scissors and uh, this is size 11 beading needle you could use size 10 or size 12 it works with all of them and i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm going to start with the familiar brick stitch if you haven't heard about it don't worry i'm showing really easy and step by step and i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it Okay, so I will start with this row of red beads and they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Okay, and I will put this away for a while and I will start like this. I'm picking up two red beads. I slide those down. I will leave a small tail here because later I will put my needle on it and I will finish my work. I will secure my work. Okay, so now as I have those two beads here, as I'm exiting here through this one, I will go back through the other one. Okay. Now I have this. And you see, I want them to stay exactly next to each other, here and here. Okay. Now, what I do next is that I go through this red and now I have two beads next to each other but I want to have seven so I'm taking my next one and I'm going here back in circle through this one. Okay, now I have three and I'm going to continue this four more times Okay guys, and now I have my seven beads here. And what I want to do next is add those two black beads. Okay, imagine that this is uh, the row that we are doing. This is the same with this one, okay? It is mirroring this part. This part is mirroring this part. So imagine that we are here. So now we want to add this black one. Okay, so I'm going through the, this um, 
red I'm taking just one black like this and I'm going here through this one make it stay in the center like this now I will go through some beads in this direction because I want to make this row nice and tight and not moving around okay and now as I'm exiting here you see according to my pattern here I will add one black bead okay and you see your pattern all the time also here so now I go back again through this red and then again and then I'm exiting here okay now I have this and if you want them to stay without moving you could go ahead and reinforcing them by going one more time through them okay now I will start my next row and it will be with expanding brick stitch and how I do expanding brick stitch I take the first two beads red and black and go I will show you where I go red and black and I go here guys you see those thread bridges that are between my beads so I go under the first one between the first and the second red beads under this thread bridge and I pull then I go through my black bead that is closer to the center of my work okay and I pull again okay so now this is what I have then what comes next is red two and two blacks okay and how I add them I take one red bead I go here now I'm adding them one by one then I take a black I go here and one more black okay and I'm here now I added just added these two blacks and now I have red black red and I'm adding them one by one red go under the next thread bridge then back to this bead black and red okay black and you see guys here the thread bridges are over so I'm going to add my last thread here at this last thread bridge okay I'm adding it here and I'm going back through this bead oh this is when when I expand my work because you see here I'm expanding or increasing my work and here I will be decreasing when I reach the center I will start decreasing now I'm show you I'm showing you how to increase your work now guys it's easier for me to flip my work so if I flip my work I will also flip my pattern you see now I will start this row but now I'm flipping my pattern because it's easier for me to work from here to here because I'm right-handed if it's easier for you to work in the other direction go ahead and do this and then you don't need to flip this pattern at this step okay so now I start with a red and a black like I showed you before a red and a black go under the thread bridge the first one 
and then back through this black. It's the same thing I showed you in my previous two rows. Okay, then black, red, black. black red black and from here on I will continue red to blacks red and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you how to add this one so red to blacks red And as I mentioned before, I'm adding my last bead when I expand my work under the last thread bridge here. Like this. And now how I add this black one at the end. It's really easy. I just take it and add it like I started my first row. Okay. Here you might want to reinforce. Okay, now I will flip my work and I want to continue. But in order to continue my next row, which is this one, a lot of reds and two blacks at the end. Okay, and now I will reposition my thread because I want to exit from this bead, but from here to here in this direction. And how I do this, I go here through these two black beads okay then I will go through this red and again through this black here okay Now what I do is that I go again through this red one and then I'm exiting here out of this black. Okay. Now in, I'm in this position where I could continue. Okay, and now I'm here where I'm about to start the head. And how I do this, I will add this black and this red first at the first thread bridge. Okay, I have them. And I go here at the first thread bridge. Then I go back through the red one. Okay, this is everything is like I showed you before when I do the expanding rig stitch, but there is a slight difference here. I added this one and this one, but I need to add this one. And how I add it, I will turn my work to be easier. I will just attach it to this final black one here. I'm taking it. And I'm adding it. Okay. Now what I do is that I go here one more time through this one. Then here through this black, the neighbor one. And then here through this red. Okay. Now guys, what I do is that I add all those red beads until the end and they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I will add 9 more because I have the first one. So 1 plus 9 more and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. 
Okay, and I'm here at my last step where I'm just adding my last red bead from this row. Okay, so now it's easier for me to flip and I will also flip my pattern, okay? So here you should add these black beads and they are exactly 13 of them. Okay, I will show you the first step and let you do this by yourself. Okay, I'm taking two. I'm going under this thread bridge. Then I'm going back. Okay, I added the first two. Then I will continue one by one. This is the third one, so I need 10 more up to here and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Okay, and now I will flip. And I will also flip my pattern in this direction. And I will continue with this row and I will show you how you make the decreasing brick stitch. It's almost the same, there are just a few little differences. Okay, again I start with two beads. They are two black beads, okay. And I go this time not through the first thread bridge but through the second one, between the second and the third bead. Okay, this is one of the differences is that I go through the second thread bridge instead of the first. And then I go like this. And you see how the, those beads don't stay in a good shape. That is why I'm going to make a new thread pad here. Going in this direction through them one more time. Okay. Maybe I'll flip my work because it's easier. Okay, now you see I have the head of my ladybug and now what I'm going to do is just continue adding red beads and there are 10 of them. Okay, I will show you the first one and you will continue. Okay, I take it, I add it absolutely the same way, no difference. And I will come back for the last one. Okay, and here I am at my last step and at my last thread bridge. And the other difference when I decrease is that I don't add one more bead here at the last thread bridge. Okay. Now, what I do is that I want to start my next row, but I want to flip my work and I also want to flip my pattern. Okay. So, now I'm starting here from the back to the head, okay? And I have a red and a black. And I will show you this decreasing brick stitch one more time. So I'm taking a red and a black in my first step. I'm going, remember, under the second thread bridge, okay? You see, this is the first one and this is the second one. And I go back like this. Then I go through this black one. But I don't like how they stay because they are stretching. And in order to fix it, I will go through this red. And then I will go through this black. Okay. Now you could Pause this pattern here and continue black, red, black, red, two blacks, red and a black. Okay, pause it, do this and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last black one from this row. I hope you managed to do this. If not, you could pause the video and catch up with me now and I will flip my work like this and I will also flip my pattern 
Now you see with this row there is a decreasion but it is with two beats. And how I'm going to manage this? I want to exit out of this red beat from here to here and now I'm exiting out of this black beat. And how I'm going to fix it? I will just reposition my thread. I'm going through these two red beads in this direction. Okay. Then I want to go through the neighbor red and through this one diagonally. And now I'm exiting here out of this red. And from here on, I will continue the same way a red and a black. And, and I'm going from here through the second thread bridge, not through this one, but through this one. This is the second where the two black beads are. I'm going like this. And now I need to do the familiar step of going in this direction and then going back in this direction and one more time here through the black one just making a new thread pad to make them stay nice and tight okay a, a red and a black and now i need red two blacks red black red and you could pause this video do this and i'll be back red black i'm starting one by one i will show you just the first thread Okay, now I'm here and do this by yourself and meet me. And I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last red bead. If you couldn't do this, just pause and do this. And now I will flip my work and I will take my pattern in this direction. And here I just need to add seven red beads which are the same like this row that I did before. Okay, I'll show you the first two. I'm taking them, I'm adding them under the second thread bridge, just like this. Then I will reinforce them. And here, exactly where they are, I'm going to add one black bead. The leg of my ladybug. And I will reinforce it one more time. Okay, then I will continue up to this bead and I'll show you how to add this one. Okay, so add one, two, three, four more and I'll be back. Okay, and I added four more of these red beads and now I'm going to take just one black and I'm going here. Then I'm going back. And reinforcing. Okay, and now guys, in order to finish my ladybug, I need just one seed bead. I'm adding it here like this. Now I will reposition my thread to go here. Okay, and I'm here where my head is and now it's time to add my earring finding and I'm taking one seed bead, then I'm taking my earring finding, I'm sliding those down, I'm taking one more seed bead, I'm sliding it down as well, like this, and what I want to do is go back in circle through this top red bead, a uh, black bead, sorry. Okay, ok, 
okay and I'm going to reinforce this one and now I will show you how to make a knot and cut your thread okay I'm choosing a place let's say here and I will make a small knot here okay I'm making a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I will zigzag a little bit through my work like this and then like this and I will cut my thread here okay now I will put my needle on the other side on this thread and I'll be back this time guys here I'm not even going to make knots I will just go through my beads I will zigzag through them several times and when I'm ready when I feel I've been a lot of times through my beads and it's all secure I will go here and cut my thread as close as possible to my work and now my ladybug earring is ready okay guys and now my ladybug earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice or three times a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me